Can I let you in on a little secret? Living on a remote tropical island doesn't mean that we survive only on fish and coconuts. The truth is we import quite a lot of food to our little island home. Meeting the dietary needs of our family and a tourist resort is actually kind of complicated. We're going to share with you some of the typical foods we eat, how we get it here and what our preferences are. Billy and I are not top city and daddy. Hub City, Mommy Hub City, Daddy, Papa Hub City, Nanny Hub City. Wow, yeah, that's the chilli report. Recently we all needed to get off the island, especially Molly who's been with us for several months now without leaving. So a visit to our local store for some retail therapy was in order. It's just a 30 minute drive by boat to Sege to get there. And while there are small stores in most villages, this is the biggest and the most stocked store in the region. We got a little bit carried away shopping for all sorts of things on this day, so I honestly didn't do a great job of filming the food options here, but it is an example of what local communities have access to in our area. Unfortunately, from a food perspective, it is mostly unhealthy packaged foods that are high in saturated fats, processed sugar and salt. But they do also stock items like brown onions and garlic, bulk flour, rice and canned fish as examples. This is probably one of the most impressive shops in the whole yeah. island. I did not. I know, and an Who's, What's your team though? What well, would your team be back my, home? Mine would be Norwich, but... Starbucks. <laughs> Coffee cup in. Now, do you go to Zani, what's the story with the troubles? <laughs> oh no! Bad luck one morning. So, what are you guys shopping for? I'm confused, Philly. We're making. What are you shopping for? I don't know yet. What's this bush kitchen stuff they're talking about? What's the idea? I reckon, mate. So we're now having a nice stroll through EZ store. Everyone's going to be a retail therapy. I found some mats for the boats. Stoked! You just never know what you're going to find, really. The girls are going nuts. It's ridiculous. You've never seen them so excited. It's a bit over the top, isn't it, mate? Oh, butterfly hair clip. Love it. I like the basket. I thought I found it. Gorgeous, I love that. No, I thought it was. 16 and 10, mate. I could buy in these earrings. 26. $14 left. What are you buying, Philly? Are you buying all of that with your money? Yeah? Alright, let's see if you got enough money. Throw it up. $3. You got $65. You're a bit short, hun. So you put your 65 up and we'll figure it out. Thank you. Whoa, guys. If we are Good away from the island, we would usually pack an easy lunch into an esky to take with us. Of course, it's all homemade. Sustainable fishing is our most reliable source of protein. We eat seafood most days of the week and we do prefer it when we've caught it ourselves. <laughs>
the face. Did that get, <laughs> did that, did that get oh, the camera? Get the camera. <laughs> oh, I think it got the front. That's gross. Nice bit of dinner. We can work with that. And for the little ones. Oh, perfect. That's a perfect little Darwin fish. Starting in here from Darwin, have a quick shower before you get dinner going. Um, haven't spent a lot of time away from Darwin, so he's actually quite good while I'm gone. It's when I get back then he realizes, oh, there's mummy and she's not been here and I need her immediately. But anyway, it's really nice to get off the island and just not think about responsibilities as a parent for a little bit and just enjoy being in the water. It was beautiful today. There's a lot of coral spawn in the water and it seemed like there was a coral trout aggregation. So there was actually quite a lot of coral trout. Okay, Chef. Ginger, bring a line. Wrapping it in foil, baking it in the oven. Kids is already in with some potatoes. Darwin's hungry. You hungry for Pandora, Darwin? Yeah? Yeah? Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> Oh, it's actually not his first. You've caught him another one, but he didn't eat it. He just. Hopefully, he'll eat it tonight. It looks delicious. Yeah. Yeah, we always put that. Is it good, Darwin? Darwin! Yummy? Yummy? Can you try some? I'm going to delicately pick it up. This right? style of baked Yum. fish is so delicious. Let us know if you want to see more seafood recipes from us. Okay, breakfast time here. We've actually got pear, which is really unusual. Arlo's going to have granola and milk. We've got some other local fruits. This is called apple chew. Poor, poor. Billy's going to have toast and some fruit. Anyway. <laughs> Let's feed these gremlins. Everyone's a bit sick today. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> we make everything from scratch. Our breakfasts are pretty standard, but of course all homemade. Meet Bubbles. She is my incredible sourdough starter for making delicious bread that I make pretty much every day. I bake a lot for the family and to make sure that the kids' school lunch boxes are filled with healthy, sustaining foods. Removing the conveniences of just popping to the shop to buy things whenever you need to, I tend to be more intentional with using food that we have available in the pantry and getting really excited when we have good quality fresh produce. We can access amazing fresh organic vegetables through local markets on the mainland and we also grow quite a lot of produce here on the island in hydroponics and small gardens. But sometimes our typical options of sweet potato, eggplant, peppers, it gets a bit boring and as a parent I'm pretty aware of trying to introduce a variety of plant-based foods for the children. So we do occasionally purchase extras from the capital. Unfortunately, this means incredibly high food miles, so we don't get to do it very often. But we do choose things that will travel and keep reasonably well. Things like carrots, cabbage, and surprisingly on this occasion, pears. What a treat. <laughs> that is a serious yellow fin. Come on, Joe. Fisherman to the next one, young man. Wow. Good job. Yeah, how good is that? <laughs> what do we like we to? Can sashimi tonight. What? Sashimi tonight. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. So we obviously survive off the ocean for almost all of our protein. Um, that's a pretty big yellow fin. And it's a pretty unusual fish to find these days. Unfortunately, due to like extensive commercial fishing, schools like that just a few and far between uh, where they used to be everywhere. But anyway, we are lucky to have that one in the resort and that is the creme de la creme of sashimi grade yellowfin. So we'll definitely be doing some of that, maybe do a sushi dish with it as well. And it cooks up beautifully as well. So stoked, that is a big deal because we had zero fish left in the resort. Oh, clean and bear it. Look what passing inside here. 
Yeah. Oh, deep down, I am one. Yeah. Wow. Come on. How deep was that? That's a six meter Me. deep diving lure. Go there, Hemi. Move, go. Awesome, long, more go fish. Okay. So you off that him a little bit, yeah? What's Joe? Oh, that's what, a girl. What's Joe taking out? It's the eggs. Hmm? I'm going to roll. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It's a, it's a girl. Wow, good spotting, Philly. It's a girl. Philly knows what yellowfin tuna row looks like. <laughs> so why is he taking this part out, kids? Because I don't think you can eat that. You can eat the row, and you can eat lots of those bits, but. When we're taking the fish to store it, we cut the, the stomach and everything out, don't we? So it keeps well. I think we'll be able to get that and stuff from that body. Big fish, big tummy. What's those long sausage things? Those are the, that's the eggs. That's what Philly's for. That's the row. This will be a boy, I think. This will be a boy, you reckon? <laughs> Different species. This one's a bonito. The other one's a yellow fish. It's a girl. Hmm? Yeah, oh, you're right, a girl as well. Go. Well, there you go. Good job, Billy. Not a girl. Not a girl. So, we do indeed uh, eat fish and other seafood. Uh, lots of people have different beliefs about eating animals, and that's all well and good. Yeah. I think it's something we could be doing a lot more of in Australia is getting people to actually understand where their food comes from. I think there's too many people in the world who just think that food comes from the supermarket and they don't connect to the food that they consume. Let us know what you think in the comments below and yeah, that's our take on it anyway. That's the whole bench. That's a 1.8 meter long bench. I'd say that's 1.3 meters long. Woo. Okay, what are we doing? Going for a snorkel. Oh. Why, why are we going for a snorkel? Because it's school Sunday. And oh. it's very hot. It is yeah. very hot. Octopus. Dolphin. And lion. Octopus, the dolphins, and lion fish. That is quite the diverse range. All right, let's go. Come on, let's go. It's quite an interesting balance between protecting what we love, but also depending on the consumption of seafood for a healthy diet. I think the kids have a wonderful grasp on this and as they get older I'm really noticing how much they respect and appreciate the fish that we do take to eat. A quick swim off the dive jetty reminds us just how special every living creature is. obviously can't live without coffee. We get our beans sent over from Australia and even though there's actually a coffee producer here in the Solomons, we can never get a reliable supply from them so it's not really a viable option for us or the resort. Okay, crawl gun. Go. 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh 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 oh. Oh miss. One. Jace always forgets to drink his AG one. But what about the mohalo? You're looking for the eye blend and you hello. Hello. Bye. Hello bye. Hello. Hello bye. Bye. If I have two coffees in a day, I am definitely getting stuff done. And I'm going to include this little segment here just so that you know that our house tour video is coming, I, I promise. Hey, so he's going in the house. Hey, babe. If it helps, you look really good doing that. Going our lives. <laughs> Whoa! Is it now or screen? Very detailed. Oh, getting a sweat on. This is what I'm standing on to clean the windows. It's ridiculous. Got it? We have a lot of pantry goods sent all the way from Australia by sea, which takes a really long time and means that we buy things in bulk from our wholesalers. I'm still trying to manage the space I have here to store our food and keep it from getting bugs, ants or mould in it. Yellowfin tuna and veggie pies for lunch today. Good. So Owen's having roast pumpkin and leftovers from last night, which is chicken, carrot and cauliflower. Mm. Yummy. <laughs> hey kids, who caught this fish? Remember? Joe. Joe. Joe, this is Joe's fish that we're eating today. Mm. How lucky are we to have that giant yellow fin? So variety is really important to us, especially as a family. However, we do focus our energy on choosing to eat as fresh as possible, as local as possible to reduce the food miles and make sure that we've got a really wholesome diet for our little island family. I'm actually making a chocolate coffee flavored cake today because it's my dad's birthday and it's school holidays. The kids are hanging around playing crabs and I feel like something yummy to eat, so yeah. It's not always perfectly healthy, but it is definitely wholesome and delicious. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I honestly believe that feeding a whole family is not easy no matter where you live. So I would love to hear from you in the comments below about what you find difficult for feeding your family or yourself at home. And make sure you subscribe if you're interested in seeing more of our sustainable living content. We will see you in the next one, guys. Liana Via. Yeah, today is actually your granddad's birthday. So my dad's birthday would have been today, and he would have been 65. 65? But forever 44. So I thought we'd have some cake. Yes. Why not? Delicious, yummy chocolate cake would have been his favorite. Yeah? Well, I can't cheers for Cheers. Oh, cheers it here. Cheers. <laughs> oh, cheers. Mmm. Right. Oh, delicious. It's really good. <laughs> you get to meet Daddy. Me or our no. baby Darwin. No, and that makes me super sad. But you know what's really important? Is that we remember him. We think of him sometimes. And know that he's probably happy to see us living a wonderful life. Especially a wonderful life of chocolate cake. Okay? Is in our hearts, that's where he lives, in our hearts.